Hi, Carol. Hi, Virginia. So nice to meet you. I'm Savannah. Thank you for talking with me today. I know that there's like so much that goes on behind the scenes, so I'm excited to dive into that with you. But I have a question for both of you guys as my first question. And I would like to know what was it like working together on this film, The Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and how did your roles kind of complement each other during this within the background of the film? That's a great question. A great question. <laughs> um, I, working together was fantastic. Uh, Virginia is um, has been at WETA longer than I have, and she's always been a mentor to me at the company. So getting to work on the same project is always a joy. Um, we have um, sometimes overlapping shots uh, most of the times not, but um, there's always that support for, um, you know, keep, keep, keeping at it and, um, opinions, you know, on, on, on ideas, on decisions to make for, um, animate animation decisions to make. And it's, it's fantastic. I'm very happy to be working with her. Yeah, yeah I'm the same. And it's really good because we can talk a lot uh, about the shots, um, give, uh, feedback it's one or yeah it's really good we're, we're friends from far away we haven't met in person but <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're good friends <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice i hope you guys get to meet soon that's sweet <laughs> yeah. good, yeah. virginia i have a question for you i would love to know about a moment or a scene in the film that you're particularly proud of and why you're proud of that scene i cannot probably tell you which shot, but I remember one shot that made me laugh, um, but with some, um, I don't know how to say this word in English, uh, ternura. Uh, Tenderness. Know, Tenderness. Yeah, it's like this kind of laugh, and I, it's my favorite shot. Uh, I cannot tell you which one, but um, yeah, if, you go, if people go to the cinema, I will see, but yeah, I think that this sequence when makes me laugh, and I feel, feel that uh, tenderness to say so tenderness tenderness <laughs> is one of the it's just it just makes my day when i'm working that kind of shots yeah yeah and virginia given your spanish background do you find that that there's like different cultural influences that have shaped your approach into your work into filmmaking mm, no i I think that it's just at the end it's, uh, universal language um, and we don't, we can animation at the end that's what we do, it's just, uh, it's all about study the movement of people and they can, the performance of, of the actor and make it um, in our characters and make it that people believe on them. So I think it's more universal. Um, we, we don't have, um, we are not on the creative side well, um, I mean, we are on the creative side in some way, but we are not decision takings. If to change, uh, to change in a big way, where culture could be influenced, uh, influencing the movie, we are a little bit, um, yeah, in the middle on the process. Right, that makes sense. And Carol, I would love to know what was the most challenging part, if there were any, of animating for this film, and like, how did you overcome those challenges, if there were any? Um, so for me, the, you know, cer certain actions, certain scenes, uh, they were hard to translate from what was captured to whatever the set, the environment was. And, you know, th it took a lot of back and forth with uh, leads or supervisors or um, just probably spend a lot of time on trying to make it look just right. I mean, there's definitely, you don't, you don't give up. You just keep going, you know, until it's perfect. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so uh, I, you know, they're just like in every film I always encounter like a few shots that are just, you know, I'm just like, oh my God, how am I going to get, make this work? Um, however, those are also very rewarding when you're done. So that for me, those are the biggest challenges is that, you know, making things work because you always want to respect the actor's um, performance, you know, that's like number one. Um, in some cases, you are, you just have, I don't know, maybe a set piece wasn't large enough or something, you know, something small. And then you're, you might be working with other teams to make that work, or you just have to make decisions to even get it to, you know, be looked at to see, okay, is this, is this going to 
be okay with the the whole um, scene. So that's that's the most challenging for me. Um, but it's also very fun because you know what's what's life without problems. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I enjoy, I mean, they're not, it's not negative. It's, it's, to, I, I really enjoy it. Yeah. I, I learn a lot from it. Okay. I can imagine I've never done the animation filmmaking world, so I have no idea what goes into it, but I can imagine it's a lot. But yeah. Um, so for, for Caro, um, being from Venezuela, how do you think kind of a similar question to Virginia, is there any cultural influences that you have um, that you can think of that have influenced your work specifically? Um, not not directly at my job work. So like we because we're we're part of a bigger thing, right? So we're making decisions based on our knowledge of the uh, biomechanics of the the creatures that we're animating and our experience and anim animating. But um, in my personal work, um, there's definitely always some, you know, that that desire to communicate some of the cultural experiences or um, my family is Colombian. So I'm from Venezuela and Colombia. And then uh, anything I, any personal work, I, I have that thoughts, like how can I translate or share, you know, what I remember of my culture into the world. So if I was to do something bigger, you know, create a film, direct something one day, you know, my goals, then I would definitely put, part of that into into whatever I make. Yeah, that's awesome. I will be um, front and center if you do that. I'm also Colombian, so that's so nice. Oh, cool. Um, I would love to know how does Orgullo Latino, like that theme, how does that resonate with you guys? And if if that means anything to you and if you in like in bringing your heritage into a Hollywood production. So Orgullo Latino, I guess, Virginia, technically you're Hispana, not Latina. <laughs> so I'll answer that. See. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> um it I mean, I'm I'm proud of my heritage. And I'm proud to, you know, represent. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna say I represent everybody, but just be achieve what I've achieved, you know, I've worked hard and um be Latina, you know, I'm I'm I, I love I love it. I love that I can speak Spanish. I love that um, I, you know, I can appreciate all our different cultures in Latin America. Um, and that maybe, like I said, when I have the opportunities to to share my ideas or create something that I'm able to um, look at our culture to to share it. So it's as a creator, as a, a creative person, that's the way I see it. And that's what I'm proud of. Um, I love my job, even if I'm right now, you know, I'm not like doing anything specific to my culture or anything. I'm still, you know, I love what I do. And I think because I've been able to do this for so long, I can um, eventually, you know, like I said, share something from my culture into to the world. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Um, did you have anything to say, Virginia? I don't want to cut you off. <laughs> if no, no, it's, it's what Carol said. say. <laughs> I have one more question for both of you guys. I would love to know if you guys have any advice to give anyone that is starting out in the film industry that want to pursue animation or motion editing. Um, they have to put a lot of passion and they have to practice. Practice and even for us that we are already so many years working on this industry we keep practicing and we keep learning so yeah just keep working make sure that you do contacts because it's very important now that there is a lot of platforms that where you can link to other people that are on the area that you probably want to work and then you just need good luck <laughs> to be there when people need you and then, i don't know if carol wants to add something else um, I always have a number one advice and stay on top of technology, yeah, keep, keep cool. track of trends because um, things change very fast. And I think the people that are on top of it are the ones that are going to have a leg up 